Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Children's Chapel for this first Sunday after Easter. Is it of Easter? Yeah, second Sunday of Easter. Second Sunday of Easter. And then we, and then we rock on sheep. Yeah. Um, so Easter was last Sunday for us, but we celebrate Easter for 50 days. So, please take a picture of us. Oh, good Jen. job with your flip phone. So, it's a second Sunday of Easter. Here we go. Do you remember the verse we say, everyone? Okay. And Jesus was life, and the life was the light of man. The light, whoa, good catch, Papa. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. Ooh, try again. Nice. That's one big candle instead of the little candles we usually have. Yes, this is like our home Paschal candle. Remember that big candle at the front of the church, everyone? It's like taller than Eleanor. Thanks, Ruthie. Come on, taking lots of pictures. Yeah, taking lots of pictures. Um, and has a cross on it. It's the Paschal candle. And Papa was just telling me the word Paschal comes from the uh, word for Passover. We remember on um, last Thursday we talked about um, Jesus at the Passover feast with his friends before he died. Thank you, Miles. He died. He died, but what did we celebrate happened on Easter? Easter? What did we celebrate last week? And he died for our sins, but then what happened on Easter Sunday? Fritz, what happened on Easter Sunday? He rose from, he rose the, rose from the dead. Good job. Awesome. Woo. So, and Fritz has Jesus this week. Yeah, so we remember that for 50 days, as Mom was just saying. And we tell, we tell some of the stories about what happened after Jesus died and rose. Now is nice to Papa? Or you want to go for a little walkie walk? I'll take okay. I'll take him. Alright, cool guys. So we remember that after Jesus rose from the dead, did he hide out somewhere where no one could see him? No. No. He talked to his friends, right? His disciples. So there was one time, let's see, how many people do we have? Three. Oh, there's another one. Excellent, Mommy. You can toss them to me. So this is going to be our Thomas, right? Here's St. Thomas. So there was one time when Jesus' friends were all together. Can you put that one there, Eleanor? Thank you. And they were in the room. Hey, Daddy. Fritz's yeah. name is Thomas. They were in a room where the door was locked, and no one could get in or out, when suddenly Jesus stood there with them. Can you put Jesus on the board for us, Fritzy? All of a sudden. Suddenly there was Jesus. Even though the doors were locked, even though there was no normal way for just an ordinary human being to, to get in, Jesus, the resurrected Jesus, could, could appear there with them. And he said, peace be with you. And he talked with them, and they saw that he was alive. But then later, when Jesus had gone again, Thomas showed up. And they said, Thomas, we've seen the Lord. We've seen the risen Jesus. He was here just a, just a little while ago. And Thomas said, unless I can put my hands in the prints of the nails, hi buddy, and, and put my hand inside the spear wound on his side, I will not believe. Believe in who? In Jesus. You won't believe that he's raised. He said, I, he said you guys were hallucinating. You were dreaming of it. You had just a, a weird vision. It wasn't really Jesus. It wasn't really his risen body here. That's crazy. But then... What happened the next night? Can you put Jesus back? Thomas was with them, and Jesus appeared again, even though all the doors and windows were locked. And he walked over to Thomas, and he said, Thomas, here are my hands. See the mark of the nails? Put your finger right there. He said, here's my side. See the mark where the spear went in? Put your hand inside that hole in my side. Why didn't he do that? Because that's what Thomas had asked for. Jesus said, okay, if that's what it's going to take you to believe, go ahead. Touch me and see that I am risen from the dead. He said, but you have believed because you have seen. Because when Thomas saw that, and Jesus told him not to doubt but to believe, Thomas fell down and he said, my Lord and my God, he believed. But Jesus said, some people aren't going to get to see me. And yet blessed are they who do not see and yet believe. Who do you suppose Jesus was talking about when he said, Blessed are those who do now not see all the and yet believe? But now I don't uh, have all the Christians? Christians? Have you seen the risen Jesus with your own eyes? Eleanor, have you seen the risen Jesus with your eyes? 
No. But do you believe that he's raised from the dead? I did. Yes. So Jesus was talking about you and me and everyone who believes in his resurrection, who has faith, and that he died for our and sins, and that he rose again. Don't believe in him. And that, that everyone might come to believe that Jesus really is the, the, our Lord and God, as St. Thomas said, um, that he really is risen from the dead, and that we have hope because of him. All right, good listening, guys. Come here, Thomas. Or okay, you're not Thomas. You're Thomas. You're Miles. Oh, too many, too many crazy kooks around here. All right, so we're gonna sing an Easter hymn this morning. Two Thomas and one Miles. <laughs> two Thomas, 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 Thomas Miles. All right, you guys, you wanna sing that Easter hymn with us? Let's do it. It's called Jesus Christ is Risen Today. Jesus Christ is risen today. Alleluia. Our triumphant holy day. Alleluia. Who did once upon the cross. Alleluia. Suffer to redeem our loss. Alleluia. Awesome job, guys. Could we say the um, blessed are they who believe part again together? Yeah. Can we say it on the candle? Do you believe because you have seen? Blessed are those who believe though they have not seen. Can you guys say that with me? Blessed are those who believe. Though they, they have, have not seen. seen. Oh, we don't know. Oh, yeah. Let's let Miles, or Ruthie, who's turning to say, Okay, good job. Thank you, Fritz. Fritz, you can turn off the camera for us. All right, happy.